A new CDC report reveals a surprising number of Americans struggle with hearing loss, and many don't even know it. It affects around 40 million adults. One in five of them are between the ages of 20 and 29. Our Dr. David Agus joins us from Los Angeles. Good morning. Good morning, Nora. So what's causing this, and why has the problem gotten worse? Well, what's causing it is loud noise. And it's not just how loud the noise is, it's how long someone's exposed to it. So it's both of those factors. So a moderate noise for a long period of time so can cause hearing loss. And the amazing thing about this study is that almost a quarter of people who had hearing loss didn't know they had it. So when you have hearing loss occurring in people in their 20s, it's becoming a major issue in the country that we need to talk about and deal with. David, this is happening outside the workplace, just in, in, in ordinary kind of street noise and stuff? Yeah, it's a great question, Anthony, because we know that some people who live in workplaces with loud noise have hearing loss. And over half of these people, the hearing loss wasn't associated with loud noise in the workplace. So it's lawnmowers, it's concerts, it's putting those uh, uh, ear pods in your ears at higher volumes that kids do today. All of those can cause an issue. It could be stuck in traffic with noise. You know, there are these two things that aren't that expensive, um, foam earplugs. And when there's a loud noise, I carry them with me and put them in my ear. When I go to a concert with my kids, I put them in because you need to think forward here. I've That's what buddy duddies do, though, Dick. <laughs> I'm, one, I'm one of those people that puts the ear pods in and does it full blast. I know that's not smart, but I love the music so much. How do you know when it's too when loud is too loud? Well, unfortunately, we don't know till it's too late most mm. of the time. And you know, when you do are exposed, you know, you can have ringing in your ears, and it's not mm. reversible is the mm. problem. And so, you know, keep it to a lower level. Um, don't really push it too high because if that damage happens to the nerves in your ears, we can't regenerate new nerves there mm. and it can cause a problem. So you hit one of the key issues is how do you know it's too loud? And the answer is we just don't. You know it when you know it mm -hmm. and it's hard when there's no quantitative measure for it. You know, David, I know some married couples that say moderate hearing loss actually helps prolong a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my grandfather said the same thing. Selective hearing is key. <laughs> Are yeah. there other health dangers involved, David, though, if you, if you have hearing loss? <laughs> yeah, when you start to look at people with hearing loss, you know, they, they get less communicative with other people. There are other medical problems like elevated blood pressure and things that can happen to them. And so hearing loss can be the beginning of other things. And so we're learning now the prevalence is higher than we all thought, and it's something we need to pay attention to. All right. Very good advice this morning. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Agus. Thank we you. We appreciate that.